I'm Mandy and I play Phoebe. Hello, I'm Lucy and I play Tilly. It was um, a character called Dylan who started the um, docu site so everyone could just kind of post little video blogs and they would talk about how they've lost their best friends and um, the emotions that they were going through, the shock. A bit like a memorial site where people could go to you know, relate to other people that were going through it. So it's kind of a real insight into how people deal with grief and how people deal with grief in different ways. And my character used you know, the blog to express emotions because she, she finds that difficult and in the real show, the main show, she doesn't really show emotion. So the video for her was a place that she could express herself. Yeah. And you know, you'll know, you see it got a little bit too much for her. But thankfully, I've not really had to deal with grief that's been major, like a major family member. So I don't know how I would deal with it. I know Phoebe has been exposed to a lot of things. She deals with it as in she doesn't she don't talk to people, she deals with it herself. Like yeah, she's so quite she wouldn't close. go on to she a site then? No, she wouldn't go on to a social networking site. And in all fairness, I don't think I would either. I'd probably go on the internet for help. Yeah. But I'd, I'd probably speak to people more than she would. But even then, I don't think I would discuss it. I think I'd just deal with it myself, but that's... I think what's, um, what can be quite destructive with the social media sites now is that if somebody hears something, it can get completely magnified and get blown out of proportion. Yeah. And then everybody knows your business. So I think that can be quite dangerous. See, me and my character, I think, are very different in that way because me personally, you know that I'd come to you or Stephen or any of our friends. Whereas my character doesn't, she doesn't like, for example, Stephen's character, George, she, she hasn't, well, you don't see that she might have done. They might have grieved together, I'm guessing they have because Maddie was their best friend. but. Um, she seems to take to these blogs quite a lot yeah. and she doesn't just show grief, she shows anger and frustration and so many different emotions. So I think for her that's probably worked out best because she doesn't have a sister or a brother and I don't think her mum and dad, I don't think she's very close to them emotionally. So I guess maybe that's the only place that yeah. her character feels she yeah. can do. And I think that might be the case for quite a few people. Yeah. Maybe they feel they can't talk to anybody and by kind of it's like it's, it's like writing a diary, isn't it, really? But it's like a, a video diary yeah. that you put up on there. And I guess if it's a family that's been through grief, you might not want to burden a sibling with yeah, your it pain. Might be too difficult so them. it might just be easier yeah. to release your pain somewhere yeah. else. So long as you're protected, like I've said before, and you're careful of who you give that information to, then I don't really see any harm. Like I can only imagine it would be beneficial for somebody to speak to somebody about yeah. it, whether it be a friend, a relative, a charity. But I think it's it, you've got to be careful with how much information you give out, because like yeah. you said, it can be twisted. Yeah. You can get wrong advice back, yeah. which is not beneficial. I think they are a great thing um, if used in the correct way. <laughs>